What's going on YouTube? White Kanye the Great here with another edited video for you guys. Today we're reviewing the Sacant Filaments. Filaments, yes. I know, all the Warlock exotics have so weird names, but it's alright guys. These exotics are fantastic. They really blew my mind. Uh, I've been grinding out Lost Sectors, already got the Osmanium gloves, and uh, put a short out for that. Uh, but I wanted to review these because these are very interesting. Uh, but before we get into it, make sure you guys are smashing the like button, hitting the sub button, the join button, notifications on always. We stream every single night. Uh, this is going to be a very short review, so uh, save your guys' time. I know time is very valuable. If you guys want to spend all day with me, like I said, we love every single day. Let's jump into it. First off, uh, everybody knows about these exotics give you devour. I find a lot of people in the community just really kind of read the first sentence of it, which uh, we'll go over the first part of it right now. Casting an empowering rift. That's right, an empowering rift. You got to make sure you got that on instead of the healing rift. And that will grant you devour. And it grants you devour longer than the actual fragments in the void 3.0. So this is great. And they do stack together. Uh, the second part, though, is the most important part. And I think uh, really the part a lot of people are not talking about and that's damage dealt by you and your allies from within your empowering rift will disrupt combatants that's right guys that means that you get overload shots while you're in your rift and so do your teammates as that means disrupt combatants is your overload so you don't need to run a mod on it and nobody's talking about this one thing that people are talking about though is how much they hate, and I mean hate, the seasonal artifact mods. Now, if you're like me that hate all the artifact mods, the, especially the overload uh, anti-bear, um, no, actually, the anti-bear is okay. Okay, bows are actually really crap. Listen, the artifact mods suck this season, but overload uh, with the auto rifles and SMGs, it's trash. But when I'm wearing these pants, I don't need to worry about what weapon I'm using. Literally, long as I'm standing in my rift, you guys will see here, um, you get overload shots when you're standing in your rift. So you can use a bow, like last season, the overload bows were fantastic. <laughs> Shit, you could use a uh, trace rifle, you could use a sniper rifle, and it will be a overload weapon. It's fantastic. So try and do that with an auto rifle or SMG, not going to happen, okay? So again, this is probably uh, the coolest exotic uh, that came out uh, because again, the artifact mod sucks. We'll see what comes out next season if the artifact mods are better. But right now, guys, if you're a warlock, I highly suggest jumping on, getting in those lost sectors, those legend lost sectors on leg day or completing the legend campaign as a warlock. And at the very end of that legend campaign, if you complete it all on legend, you'll be able to pick between the two exotics. All right, so again, good luck to every uh, one of you warlocks out there to get this because it's definitely going to help your team way more than any other exotic. Anyways, these are awesome, plus the devour, and they look really cool too. The drip is off the charts. So yeah, guys, uh, if you guys enjoyed this review, hit the like button, sub button, join button, and notifications on always, and I'll see you in the next one. Charlie Wee. You could be gone.